Hi everyone, it's Marissa Williams. Um, I wanted to go through a volume and surface area example that's in a book we don't use in class, but we do use it on campus. Um, I used it when I was teaching college math in the Tampa campus, so definitely familiar with it. All right, so today we're gonna find the volume and surface area of a sphere with a radius of two foot. Now remember, diameter goes all the way across, Radius is half of that, okay? So if we're going the whole way across, be four foot. Half of that's gonna be two foot of the radius. All right, so give an exact value of an approximation using 22 over seven for pi. That gives approximately 3.14. Spear, in case you're not familiar with the term, kinda looks like a basketball, right? And again, two foot is from the center of that going out to the edge. And if we were gonna cut it in half, so to speak, that would be four foot across, right? That's the diameter. So remember, radius halfway, basically from the center to the edge there. All right, so let's look at what we need to do. We are going to use the formula. Volume formula is four over three pi r cubed. What's that mean? r times r times r. In this case, we're going to substitute 2 in for r, right? So, first thing we're going to do is just put that 2 right in where we had our r, right? And again, if we say 2 times 2 times 2, well, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 once more will give us 8, right? So again, we're substituting the two for the r. Two times two times two gives us eight foot. So you'll see how they replace the eight in there. And then we're just gonna multiply this whole thing out. Now, if you notice what they did here, how does it go from four over three pi eight, then it goes to 32 over three? Well, what's four times eight? That's going to be 32. That's how they got that 32, right? And 8 as a whole number, remember, 8 over 1, any number over 1 is how you can make a whole number, right? So just think of it like we were multiplying 8 over 1, in which case just multiply the top number. So 8 times 4 gives us that 32. Bottom number, that 1 times 3 still gives us 3 on the bottom. So that's how they got that 32 over 3. All right. <clears throat> so it says the exact volume is 32 over 3 times pi. Notice it's in feet squared because when we say two foot times two foot times two foot, feet times feet times feet results in feet cubed, right? All right. So again, we said put an approximation for pi as 22 over 7. So we're just going to substitute that in where the pi was, right? And again, we're going to multiply straight across the top. So 32 times 22 gives us 704. 7 times 3 on the bottom gives us that 21 on the bottom. So that's how we get to 704 over 21. But anytime our top number is bigger than our bottom number, what do we have to do? we got to turn that into a mixed number, right? So big old fraction like that, we're like, wait, that's, how many feet is that? Let's, let's make it a mixed number. Let's get a better idea, right? So we're going to say how many times does that bottom number go into the top number, and then what's the remainder left over, right? So how many times does 21 go into 704? About 33 times. We have a remainder of 11, which goes on the top over our bottom number of 21 stays the same. If we wanted to turn that into a fraction, when you're in your calculator, you could just say top number divided by bottom number equals. In this case, you'd say 11 divided by 21, and you should get five or, or 0.52. So that's how they get it, 33.52. And if you wanted to just kind of approximate that in your head, if you round, you know, 11 to 10, 20 to, to, instead of 21, it's 10 is about half of 20, so that 0.5 is about right if we just did it in our head like that, right? So those numbers look good. Now, surface area. Oh, man. Surface area, we've got a different formula. In this one, we're saying 4 times pi r squared. So the 4 is given to us. It's going to stay in there. 
Again, our radius is two, so we're gonna just sub in our two where our radius is. So, that gives us four times pi, and then we gotta say two squared. Remember when we square it, it's gonna be two times two, which gives us four once more, right? So that's how they go from four pi times four feet squared. Notice that feet, again, when we say four, uh, two foot times two foot, we're saying feet times feet, so it's feet squared, right? Um, and again, we're just gonna multiply our two numbers that we have. So four times four gives us 16. We'll just keep the pi in there for right now, feet squared. Now we're gonna substitute our approximation for pi, which is 22 over seven. So we're just gonna plug that bad boy into the equation. And we're gonna say 16, which is the same as 16 over one, times 22 over seven. Top numbers multiply together, so 16 times 22 gives us 352 on the top over seven on the bottom. Now it says the surface area is exactly 16 pi feet squared. It is approximately 352 over seven. And again, when we have that top number that are our bottom number, we're gonna turn it into a mixed number. So again, we say how many times can seven go into 352? About 50 times. We have two left over, our bottom number stays the same, which is seven. So that's how they get 50 and two over seven feet squared. But what if we wanna deal with decimals, right? Again, we're gonna take our top number, which is the two divided sign, seven equal sign in your calculator. And what you're gonna come up with is, is 0.29. So that's how they got that answer of 50.29 feet squared. All right. So let's go on one more example. Okay, over here we give us a word problem. People love to hate word problems, right? So let's look at it. A hockey puck is three inches in diameter and is one inch thick. Find the exact volume of the hockey puck and the approximate volume to the nearest hundredth. This time we're going to use 3.14 for pi. So let's take a look at the picture that they give us. So here's our hockey puck. Again, three inches they're saying is all the way across. That's the diameter, right? So what would our be our radius on that if we cut it in half? Half of three is 1.5, right? And then it's saying, you know, from top to bottom, it's, it's an inch thick there, right? All right. <clears throat> so it says the formula for the volume of a cylinder, let me zoom in on this, is pi times r squared times our height. Let's look at our picture again. What's our r squared? Now again, our diameter is halfway across. They give us the whole way across in this way. They say the whole way across is three inches. What's half of that? 1.5, that's gonna be our r. And we're gonna square it. That means we're gonna say 1.5 times 1.5. And then we're ultimately gonna multiply it by the height. But in this case, our height is only one inch. So it's just gonna remain one. So let's put this in. Um, all right. So again, they show us what I was just talking about, radius, we had to take that diameter, cut it in half, so three divided by two, and again, if you put that in your calculator, three divided sign, two equal sign, you will get 1.5. All right, find the volume of the hockey puck using R is 1.5 and H is one inch. Now, we already know that H isn't gonna change a whole lot, but let's see what happens anyways. All right, so our pi r squared um, times our height, our r we said was 1.5, we're just gonna plug that in there. And remember, we're gonna square it, um, and then we're gonna plug in our one in that second step here in the blue. And then in the next one down, again, we said we gotta square it, so 1.5 times 1.5 is gonna give us 2.25 inches squared. Again, when we multiply it by one, that doesn't change anything, that 2.25 stays the same but we still have to multiply it by pi. Would they say it to use in this case? 3.14, right? So the volume of a hockey puck is exactly 2.25 pi inches cubed, because again, we said inch times inch times inch, so three times gives us inches cubed. Find the approximate value, substituting the 3.14. So again, 
we're just going to plug that in where the pi was. So instead of 2.25 pi, we're going to just say 2.25 times 3.14. Our inches cubed is going to stay the same. So multiply that out in your calculator, you get 7.065 inches cubed. And they wanted us to round that. And when we're rounding, we look at the number before the number we want. So we wanted two places after the decimal, so we look at the third place. In this case, it's a five. Our rule of rounding is if it's five or more, we round up. So in this case, that six is gonna go up into a seven. So that's how they got 7.07, .07, right? So that's our approximate volume for the hockey puck. All right, good job, y'all. Have a beautiful rest of the day, and we'll see you next time.